Hello guys, welcome to Turmoil, or maybe we can call this the Rockefeller Simulator. I will start a new campaign, and we restart, I already played it for about 20 minutes. So here we choose a character, and they all have a different bio. Hello there, does being a lawyer sound interesting? Well in truth it's kinda boring, and I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I've got a serious case of oil fever, and the only cure is finding oil, so that's Blanche. Ricardo, buenos dias, I have sailed the world as a ship captain for years and I can't even swim. I don't want to worry about drowning anymore, unless it's in money. And Joshua, howdy partner, this dude has been herding cattle long enough. To know that nights on the prairie are cold and lonely, I hope earning money with oil is as easy as throwing lassos. Let's pick Joshua. Hi there, future oil baron, welcome to my soon-to-be lovely town. The oil industry will be booming here, but let's get to work. Click on the wagon and I'll show you the basics of oil drilling. So this is one of these oil boom towns. And the game is set in the end of the 1800s. And as time moves on and we play through the scenarios, they'll build more buildings here and more options will become available. So I just skipped the tutorial. I already uh, played through that, so I'll just explain the mechanics as we go. Good job, now it's time for the real work. Come to the town hall to meet your rivals and get yourself a parcel of land for uh, your next adventure. So let's head in there and look at the world map. Welcome everyone, let's first introduce ourselves. So we already read most of the bios, so let's not read them again. We didn't read Daisy. Delighted to make your acquaintance. I made a nice living in real estate, but it's time for a new business plan. I'm going underground. I don't like to dilly-dally, so let's get to work. Let me assign you to your own piece of land. The first one is on the house. So we don't get to choose the first one. Now let's get to drilling before I change my mind. Good luck. Good day to celebrate the opening of my brand new bank. I've opened up an account for each of you. You can also visit me to view a financial report of your last venture. Just click on the bank here, so we can make a loan at 20% interest, <laughs> very cheap loan. We start out with $20,000, which is ample money. Let's get that oil, we're taking $2,000 with us to cover the startup costs, are you ready to go? So now we're playing, and we'll put down these dowsers, and they'll run around with the little sticks, trying to find oil in the most arcane way possible. No science to it. Now just waiting for one of them to find a site where we can dig down. So this guy's got something. So we'll build here. Ah, that was actually wrong. <laughs> it's this guy over here waving his hat. And we'll start drilling down here because we need to find some oil before we spend all of the money. Now we don't know exactly where the oil is, we just know it's in this general direction. And here it is, so we'll start getting that up, and we'll need some wagons to carry it, so we can sell it. And let's see, this guy has oil over here, so maybe we'll just drill that way. Uh, we're going to need more wagons. So the game is fairly slowly paced in the beginning, but it picks up because uh, you'll get access to more stuff later. I'm not sure it was the best idea to drill this way. Because it's quite expensive to lay down the pipe. So we're just waiting. Ah, we need to, to assign them here. We can select how many wagons we want to go to here. Later on we'll have different options, so we might stick them in a, in a silo before we actually sell it, to, waiting for the oil prices to go up. Or we might uh, deliver it to an, uh, one of the uh, refinery competitors that might be located over there. But for now, we only have that option there. So let's see if we can find this oil. It looks like it's right there. There we go. So now we have one more tower running. Uh, buy one more wagon. So before the turn of the century, in the 1800s, oil was used in oil lamps. So people could see, out in the countryside and in the cities, lighting up America and the rest of the world. And Rockefeller was the uh, CEO of Standard Oil and became the wealthiest man in the world on the back of oil. Edison invented the light bulb and electricity and that started spreading before the turn of the century. So the 
Market for oil for lamps went down a little bit, but Rockefeller made a killing in his retirement actually by owning standard oil stock as Henry Ford started churning out automobiles at the turn of the century. So now the scenario is finishing up and we'll see where the rest of the oil was located. I didn't really have enough money to drill down there. So, but we did make a profit, although not a big one. But we made the most, more than the competitors. Howdy, my name is Fred Metal. Are you looking to make your oil mining operation more efficient? Come to my factory to upgrade your gear. So let's hit here. And now we can buy upgrades for our drilling equipment. This is uh, the width of the pipes so they can pump more oil. Let's buy that for 7,500. And we still have some money, but we'll keep that money in reserve. So before we head out, we need to go to the town hall and buy a parcel of land and the land auction. Let's gather all tenants together. Pick a parcel of land. The numbers on mine parcels indicate how much oil they had. So you can see that our competitors are going for these parcels. So I think we'll just grab the one over by the trees here. And since we all have different ones, there will be no auction. We'll just pay the price. So you can see the plants are upgraded to size 2. And we have better pipes. And they're building a new building over there. So let's head out. And we'll start looking. From now on, levels will run from January 1 to June 30. So let's put down some dosers. Looking for another place to sell your oil? Come to me. Any place the price is always right. So we have a different refinery over there we can use. Let's just put down these dosers. We'll start with four of them. Yeah, so Rockefeller monopolized the uh, refinery business. And back then, predatory pricing and monopolies were not illegal. <laughs> and they also bribed uh, public officials with reckless abandon. There also were no income tax, so amassing the kind of wealth that he had back then it would be really hard today. <laughs> Alright, let's dig down. To upgrade a pipe's capacity, just click on it, but we need to find the actual oil first. Now, there's no guarantee that it's going to be straight down. Ah, oh, there it is. Great. So we'll just get a horse going and we'll upgrade the pipe capacity all of the way through here. And we'll send it here. So they have the highest price. It's over a dollar there. I'll buy one more horse. And we'll start digging down here. Ah, we don't have the money. So Standard Oil monopolized the oil business and when the government finally realized that they needed to curb capitalism just a little bit, they uh, made an antitrust lawsuit against Standard Oil and it got split up into 27 entities. And the remnants of some of those companies are still around today, like Exxon and Chevron. Let's dig down, see if we can find the oil. Ah, here we are. Let's grab that. I think this guy would be indicating there's also oil down here, but it might be the same pocket of oil. Let's just buy another wagon here. Ah, we need to switch our wagons. They need to go over here. The price is higher over here. And yeah, we also need to upgrade the pipeline. But let's just get wagons first. Because if the oil makes it all of the way up here, it will spill and we'll lose money. And we are pumping oil pretty fast with the upgraded pipeline. Ah, it's about to spill. Ah, we just made the carriage pick it up. Buy more horses. 
Of course, we have to remember to assign them. <laughs> or they'll just stand still doing nothing. We get a really good price over here, over a dollar and twenty. We can also build a silo and we can have the oil deposited there. But if we do that, we'll have to unload it before June 30. Now we could upgrade the pipe here, but we don't really have the wagon capacity to to haul off all of that oil anyway. And we do need to not spend all of the money before the scenario ends or we might lose our profits. So we don't have time to make them back. Uh, we need the horses to go over here. So uh, oil prices over here is rising. The rocky fella loosened up in old age, and one of his nieces got a speeding ticket at one point in time, and he sent her a letter telling her that he himself indeed was partial to fast cars. He also spent his retirement just wagging golf balls up a fairway, wearing something that looks like space goggles. If you Google him, rocky fella, there's some pretty funny pictures of the old man running around driving automobiles and playing golf with, with those goggles on so it looks like we can uh, upgrade the capacity now because some of the wagons are idle now i'm not sure if we can uh, expand out this way we might be uh, our branch limit reach that's a technology we need to research first now, i don't think uh, we need to dig for any more oil because we're running out of time so spending money now is probably a bad idea. We'll just uh, haul the oil that we can. Looks like this one has been drained. Well, that was one of the big issues with the oil industry in the beginning. People thought that the oil might dry up and maybe they wouldn't find any more oil. So it was not an established business. So Rockefeller really took a chance on it and believed in it. And that's how he hit the jackpot, taking that chance when other people wouldn't, as well as predatory pricing, <laughs> monopolizing the refinery business <laughs> and, and bribing officials, of course. So we're in the last month now, and we're just going to log in these profits and we'll see if we can do even better in the next one. We'll gamble a little bit more in the next scenario. The price is higher over here, and it's closer to the last active oil well. Yeah, so the game is fairly slow paced. But it picks up later on when you have more options and more stuff that you can do and it increases the micromanagement of options in these scenarios i'm pretty sure that we did not find very much of the oil in this scenario but i think we are doing okay on profits yeah so these pockets here were located really far down and we've been very expensive to drill down to them and these two are very small so we got pretty much what we uh, should out of that scenario, I think. And we made solid profits. And we beat the competitors. So now the workshop's finished. Nice to meet you, I'm Edward. <laughs> and I'm a bit of a handyman. I like to experiment with stuff that can help you find oil. Make sure to check out my inventions. See what you got, Edward. Ah, we can we can improve depth. I improved the dowsing rod so dowsers can search deeper. Or we can uh, speed them up to make them find oil faster. Or we can uh, mole. Would you like to have this lovely mole? He'll dig for you, but he's kind of erratic. I wonder what that is. There's also a scanner, but that's 30,000. Maybe we should get a mole, but I'm not sure it would be that beneficial if it just digs completely erratic. Maybe finding the actual oil wells faster would be better. Either that, or we could upgrade something at the factory. Oh, you know what, let's, uh, let's get speed. The faster we find the oil, the more oil we can pull out of the ground before the timer ends. Let's go to the town hall and go to the lane auction.
Wow, so there's a lot of oil in these areas here. So maybe we should buy a piece of land close to that. Because we only found 28. Maybe on this side here. I think we'll pick that. Uh, and there'll be no auction. Nobody else picked the same spot as us. So let's head out. So we have two refineries again. Your dowsers will now work faster, so let's get them going. We'll put down four of them, I think. Should be enough. I will keep the oil rig handy. This time I should try to place it on the right dowser, waving his hat. Come on, little guys, find that black gold. Here's the first one. We'll dig down there. So let's just dig into the first pocket before we explore the other sides. So here's the first oil. And we're going to need a wagon for that. And we'll just upgrade it instantly. And put down more wagons. And we'll send them over here. That's where the best price is to be had. Yeah, we need more wagons. Let's just get some going straight off the bat here. More wagons, we don't want any spill. So when we have solid income, we'll try and explore over here. I think we'll do it now. Dig down here. Spending some money on pipes. Ah, it's right there. Excellent. So now we certainly will need more wagons. And we'll send them over here again. And we'll upgrade these pipes as well. But this one is already empty. That sucks. <laughs> so let's build here because we have ample logistics in the wagons to move the oil if you find more. So of all of the uh, tycoons of that age, Rockefeller became the richest off of the invention of cars. Many of the other tycoons had made their money in Carnegie was steel and Vanderbilt was railroads. JP Morgan was uh, banking. And both uh, Carnegie and Rockefeller spent a lot of their vast fortune on charities. Rockefeller especially on medicine and infectious diseases. And his son, John. Rockefeller Jr. <laughs> spent most of his life just dispensing uh, the vast fortune he inherited after his father. He also built the Rockefeller Center in New York. So the reason I know all of this stuff is that I recently read a biography named Titan about uh, Rockefeller written by Ron Chano. And that will uh, tell you all about the, this era of American industry and the oil business and Standard Oil, as well as Rockefeller and his family and competitors. So if you're interested in that, I recommend that book. Let's just upgrade the pipes here. I will send them over here. I'm not paying enough attention. <laughs> I also think that we need to find more oil. Uh, this guy is still waving his hat, so maybe there's more oil deeper. Yeah, so right there. Easy peasy. That'll boost our profits. Uh, we need to uh, upgrade that pipe. So it's not that much time left. I don't think we'll explore further unless one of these fields run out of oil. We'll just log in the profits. And keep uh, an eye on the refinery prices here. Left ink and right ink. A lot of creativity went into those names. I did not upgrade this pipe right there. That's <laughs> why so it was so slow. Rockefeller would not approve. He liked to optimize everything right down to the cent. 
He also used to carry around nickels and dimes that he would give to kids and uh, other people that he met, so they would have a, a physical souvenir, and then he would say, that's one year's interest on a dollar. He never floundered his wealth though. He was a devout Baptist and very religious. He was also always described as being calculating and in control of his emotions. So let's send some more wagons over here. I think we'll just uh, send all of them over there and hope that the price doesn't drop. Doesn't drop. So we emptied these two fields, but I don't think it's uh, worth digging because the this scenario is almost over. We're in the last month. So let's log in the profits. I find this game very soothing. <laughs> I actually like it a lot. Even though you can't say it's action packed. So I wish we could sell these wagons because now they don't have anything to do. There's a pretty big pocket of oil there and down here. Ah, wow, we just missed that one. We would have made a killing if we had drilled a little bit further down. But we made 10,000, that's pretty good. And we have more tabs here we can check out. How many barrels we sold and how much we earned. If you want to <laughs> try and be uh, optimizing what you're doing. How much you spend on wagons, pipes and stuff like that. Yeah, so we came out ahead of the competition again. By playing it fairly safe. Hello there, I'm Reyna, the trainer. I take care of the horses to keep them healthy and ready for work. Drop by my stables and maybe we can help each other. Now one of our main expenses are the wagons. We have to buy a lot of wagons. Every scenario, so maybe we can upgrade those. Do you want your horses to perform better? You've come to the right place. And Reyna's got a straw in his mouth. So what size? This new training method makes the horses stronger so they can pull larger wagons. That's 15,000, that's pretty much all we have, so we need at least 2,000 to start the next uh, exploration. You can get the counter, keep track of how many horses you have with this handy horse counter. I'm not sure how that would help us. I don't think we can afford any of this right now. Because I guess we also need to buy a plot of land before we head out and then we need to spend 2,000 to explore it. We could go to the bank and get a loan. That's what it's there for. Uh, let's get a loan. 20%. Let's bet that we can make more than 20% return. We're going to, to borrow 5,000. <laughs> Sorry, once. Now it went up to 30% per year. What the hell? It's like JP Morgan's evil brother. We're gonna do it anyway. And then we're going to stables. I think we'll save enough money for it to be worthwhile. And we'll buy this extra size of the wagons. And head to the town hall. Land auction. So we got a really good piece of land there the last time. So let's just get the one right next to it. Ah, someone outbid us. He's willing to put down uh, two thousand dollars there to take that. So we could spend the money. Or we could just pick another plot. Let's try and outbid here for three thousand. So we got that, but we paid a, a premium for it, so let's hope that's a 52 or higher. So we're just left with enough money for the setup costs, so let's go. Use the button near the right hand corner to upgrade all of your wagons. Ah, we have to pay to upgrade, that's really annoying. I thought they would have done that before they hit it out. Back at the workshop. Alright, let's get to prospecting. Put down, maybe we'll put down four. Because we're going to have more capacity with the wagons. Come on, little guys, find the money. 
I found something over here. We'll dig down. They're all finding something very quickly. Ah, we find the oil right there. Upgrade that pipeline. Uh, put down a wagon and we'll send it over here. To left ink. And we'll, I think we'll just up, upgrade all of your wagons. As we, should, we should have some more wagons before we upgrade. Or maybe it'll upgrade the new ones that we buy also. I don't know, let's just upgrade them. I guess when we put down more wagons, we can upgrade them again. And we won't have to pay for those, of course, that we already upgraded, so it doesn't matter. So now that we have more wagon capacity, let's just dig further down. I don't, wa I don't want to create the pipelines too long, because we have to pay for the full length of it. Even if we uh, don't find anything or if we uh, overshoot the pocket of oil. Uh, this one's further down, it's gonna be costly to get to it. Here we are. And we need more wagons. Because that, this is going to spill shortly, we can see that on the watch. Uh, so all of the wagons that we buy now are upgraded automatically. Uh, we have to send them here, of course. I forget that all of the time. It would be nice if they automatically went to one of these places and you could just rearrange it. Let's get one more wagon and then we'll upgrade here. Or maybe one more. So upgrade the full length and hope it's a big oil pocket. If it's not big, it might not have been worth upgrading the pipeline. Because we would have depleted it before time anyway. I will build here. And now they need to go over here and make more money. There's a pocket right there also. Just upgrade the pipes because it's very close to the surface anyway. So we don't have to upgrade much. Build over here as well. I'm going to build a silo just to show you how that works. I'll build it right there so now they can deposit oil into the silo. And store it before we move it to the refinery. Either to uh, wait for the oil prices to go up. We could do that now. We could uh, not sell to any of them. And just uh, fill up the silo a little bit before we sell. Make the prices go up. So now the silos are almost out of uh, space, so we'll just uh, start selling again over here. And we found oil here, we just need to take down a little. So let's upgrade. I'll get one more wagon. Ah, this one is out. But this one's... This pocket is empty. But this little dowser here is saying that there might be more oil, so let's take down further. There we go, we just found it, lucky. We'll sell over here and we'll upgrade this pipeline. So I think this is going pretty well. We still have three active wells. So we'll just lock in the profits that we can make here. If one of these oil pockets dries up, we might need uh, one more. So let's just put down a, a doser here. See if we can find anything. Now they're not able to prospect that deep, so there might be pockets down here that we will not know about. Ah, we need to uh, switch. I need to sell over here now. It's almost up to a dollar. Now if you wanted to drain faster, we could build an oil rig next to it and just build another pipeline down to the same pocket and we could uh, pull out oil faster. Uh, I might do that because we're getting close to the uh, end of the month. 
Just going to dig down there and bet that this is big. I will upgrade that pipeline. So we're making a bet that this oil pocket right here is the mother load. <laughs> Which it was not because it's dried up. All right, so maybe we can. Uh, uh, we can't branch out. Damn it! Last month. All right, let's just uh, not do any more bidding, and we'll just get what we can out of this pocket and log in the profit. So if we had dug from here, so we should have built the pipeline over there instead, and we would have bit more better off. It'll be interesting to see the actual map of where the oil is when the month finishes. Now I guess if we bought that technology, where we could split the pipeline, we could have split here and made a pipeline from here to here on the same rig. Ah, we need to switch selling to over here. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, he's still saying there's oil, but we're not gonna have time to uh, explore down there. Yeah, so the mother load was here. We just made the wrong bet going for that one. We still made a decent profit. In fact, we made more than everyone else at $10,000. And now there's a bar up and running, it looks like. Hi, welcome to my bar. Make yourself comfortable and mingle with the crowd. They may have some interesting offers for you. Let's take a look at that. Is there anyone you'd like to talk to? So there's a visitor here, Barney. I can offer you a 50% discount on those hefty spilling fines for one year. Just pay me cash and tell nobody, okay? That'll cost 250. So here we can actually bribe a public official. <laughs> so the game's very realistic. <laughs> but let's not do that. We don't plan on spilling oil before later on when things become more complicated. Alright guys, that's the game. Turmoil. I like it a lot. It's very slowly paced, so it might not be for everyone. But if this appeals to you, I'm sure that you'll have a lot of fun exploring for oil, making money, beating the competition. The game is $10 on Steam. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.